What's up, ET fam? Today we're gonna to be talking about the five things that you need to work on in order to be a better tennis player. These are the things that nobody else is really doing to actively improve. Now, you can have a leg up over the competition by simply practicing. That's tip number one. You can see the pros behind me are practicing. Everybody, I don't care who you are, if you're Roger Federer, Serena Williams, the greatest of all time, you need to work on something. They are going out on the court and improving every single day. Getting better can be so simple. All it looks like is either taking a lesson from a pro. Some people don't have access to that though. So you can take a hitting partner and take our action plan that we're gonna give you at the end of this video or in the link in the description below, or just take a ball machine and hit tons and tons of balls, working on that skill, taking video to check yourself. So make sure that you are practicing out on the court, working on the necessary skills because most people you will see on the courts at the same level year after year after year. They hit the level maybe three, five, and then they just plateau because they never work to improve. Don't be one of those players, AT fam. Work on your skills. In this section, we're gonna talk about building athleticism. It's so important in today's game. As you saw the, the recent uh, Australian Open final where Roger Federer, it was such a great match, but the athleticism and explosion he needs to do that is incredible. And in this section, I'm gonna show you three moves to help you work on your explosion and your balance. Balance is one of those things that I don't hear a lot of coaches talking about. How important that when Roger or Nadal or whoever gets put on the run, they can maintain their balance and still hit the tennis ball. So the first exercise I have is very simple. I'm simply having a nice wide athletic stance and you're gonna start on one leg. This is already gonna promote balance and you're gonna feel how stabilized that leg is. And all we're gonna do is hop to one leg and hold it, woo. And you can see as I go back and forth, this is working on my explosion in both legs my stabilization, landing, and controlling. Now, if you're going, Kevin, that's way too easy. I, I want hardcore, just speed it up. So we're gonna just simply go from here and there's not gonna be a pause. This is a great way to work on your balance and your agility and your leg strength. Another pose, I love this from yoga. Yoga has so many great, great elements that can help a tennis player work with their balance and their strength. Simply all I'm gonna do is lift up my leg and I'm gonna tilt over forward. Now. The, the, if you do yoga, you know this pose is a lot more difficult because you're gonna go straight, but you don't have to go that far to get the most out of it. Just going this much, I start to feel my legs wiggle a little bit because it's working on the balance and the stability. So you're gonna do it for both legs, hold it for about 10 seconds, and then you're done. If you're hardcore again, just go all the way out and hold it. And you can really feel that leg. Now, my very last thing to work on your explosion, your balance, is simply taking, again, one leg, and all we're gonna do is come down just a little bit. So if you even feel like that's too much, just go ahead and start with this leg on the ground and work on coming down this way. But if you can take it to the next level, hold this leg out, just come down and go back up, down and up. And you can alternate legs, do probably about eight to 10, go at your own pace, make sure you're not trying to kill yourself or go too far. But these exercises will help you build your athleticism for your tennis game. Now, in the next section, we're gonna have Ian talking about match play. All right, so the, the opening segment here, Kirby talked about how important it is to practice and that you shouldn't be doing all match play, and that's absolutely true. But there needs to be a good balance. You can't just do all practice either if your goal is to perform as good as possible in matches. So I highly recommend you balance out your practice time with your competitive time, taking your new skills into a competitive environment. And that's what Kevin and Megan are doing right now. And my biggest recommendation, the thing that most players don't do, is they don't put something on the line to make it as realistic as possible. So Kevin and Megan right now are playing out some cross-court points, and they're trying to see who gets to five points first. What's the score? One, three. One, three. Okay, so Kevin only needs two more points. They're playing for 20 push-ups. And that's why I recommend you set up with your partner, your friend, your teammates, even your, your pro set up some kind of pressure situation where you really want to win. You could play for dinner, play for drinks, play for 20 push-ups. Whoever wins here is gonna to have to do 20 push-ups. And is that four to one? Yeah. All right, so it's four to one. So take your skills, take your practice elements, bring them into a competitive pressure environment. And exactly how you balance that out depends on what phase of your season you're in. Are you in the middle of your team season or is it kind of off season? And so you can balance it depending on where you are. 
Hey guys, today now we're gonna talk about nutrition. It is one of those things that is definitely overlooked way too often, but it is so important if you really are looking for your peak performance. Okay, so in general, obviously eating real foods um, and not, you know, McDonald's hamburgers and, and fries and all of that stuff is super important as, as I'm sure you know. But let's talk to really about the details of what you might want to eat before your match, during your match, and after your match. So before your match, the recommended is about two to three hours before you go out and play. Okay, so that way you have time to digest and all of that stuff. You want to eat healthy fats, good proteins, good sources of carbs, um, such as like eggs and bacon and uh, fruit and some toast, something like that that's substantial and can get you through the match. And lots of water, that is key. That can even start the night before, lots of water. Okay, now during your match, if you need some extra energy, you can do the gel packs and stuff, but it's really more my recommendation to do nuts or dried fruit, something like that that can give you energy and it's a little bit more sustainable through your match. Um, and the biggest thing is, is you want to be drinking water, okay? When you're playing, not a ton of sugary Gatorades or, um, gel, like I said, the gel packs or tons of sugar cubes, but lots of water, okay? And then after your match, you want to make sure you're eating about an hour to two hours after so you can really refuel along with drinking either coconut water or Gatorade, something that's going to refuel your electrolytes, okay? Because you lost a lot of that while you were playing and now is the time to re-energize yourself and get your fluids back in so you're ready for the next match that you're gonna play. The final tip for the five things that every tennis player should be doing better is simply rest. So make sure that you're treating your body the way that the professional athletes are. Professional athletes have teams of people that are helping them support their tennis and play their best. So you need to do as the best that you can to do the same thing. That includes everything that we talked about, getting in tennis shape, getting a good mix of practice versus competitive matches, what Megan said, fueling your body nutritionally. Rest is just the final component of that. Make sure that you get enough sleep at night and that you're resting enough between matches. You've got a good mix that's helping your body have enough time to recover so that you can play at your peak performance every time. Thanks for watching this video. If you want a practice plan that will help you execute your way to tennis improvement, go to tennispracticeplan.com or click the link in the description down below. While you're at it, like this video if it's helpful to you, comment with anything we might've missed and subscribe to never miss another tennis lesson.